What's going on YouTube? Geosyn right here. So in today's video we're discussing about iOS 17.4 that was just released by Apple and is now available for all users. It's actually different in Europe compared to United States and other parts of the world, so we're going to get into that in a second. This video is brought to you by Any Unlock, a software that allows to unlock the screen passcode, bypass MDM and remove SIM lock. Definitely check the program out in the link below. A free trial is available for both Windows and Mac OS. So yes, iOS 17.4 has been in beta for a while, but now it's finally released. Least. And this is the changelog in Europe. If you're not living in Europe, you're going to have a different changelog. Your changelog will actually begin from this sentence over here. This release also includes new emojis, whatever. But for the European market, they added this quote, this update provides new options for app marketplaces, web browsers and payment for residents of the European Union. So as you probably know, Apple has been under fire quite a lot in Europe for their anti-competitive measures and stuff. And as part of those investigations, Apple is now forced to allow third-party app stores to exist on iOS, they have to allow browsers to have their own engines, not only WebKit, and they have to allow various payment methods outside of the app store for the applications in the European Union. So that's essentially what has changed in the Europe, but these changes are not part of iOS 17.4 if you live somewhere else, for example in the United States. Another important thing in iOS 17.4 is a kernel vulnerability that was actually patched. So if you go ahead and here you can see that it says a kernel vulnerability with CVE 2024 5 has been patched and it says in here an attacker with arbitrary kernel read and write capability may be able to bypass kernel memory protection. Apple is aware of a report that this issue may have been exploited. So this could be actually interesting and Alfie developer over here also said that this could be interesting and I wonder if this is actually a PPL or PAC bypass maybe I don't know I don't have any confirmation at the moment what this is, but this could be a pretty interesting kernel vulnerability, so I would definitely advise you to not update iOS 17.4 if you are planning to jailbreak your device. Right now, iOS 17.3.1 and lower is a better idea because this vulnerability was patched in 17.4, and this could actually be useful. We might even get a proof of concept in the future, because people could actually diff the update, see what changed, and try to exploit that. Anyway, yeah, that's basically it with this update. The biggest issue with this update is that it does patch an important kernel vulnerability that could be usable for jailbreak purposes, so do not update. In Europe, it begins the process of Apple actually allowing third-party marketplaces, web browsers, payment methods. I don't know how that's going to turn out because Apple does their best in order to try to make this not very powerful, so if you have a third-party app store, it's still going to require applications to be vetted by Apple. They still need to be checked the same way that macOS applications are checked by Apple, so you can't really have like emulators and tweaked applications and stuff like that. It's not going to be App Valley version 2. It's still going to be similar to the App Store, still going to be controlled by Apple in a way. So yeah, we're going to see how that turns out. Anyway, thank you for watching. I'm Geo Snow. Peace out.